folks welcome back to Jerome B Farm and Homestead uh, this week what we got going on is uh, actually sold the two nukes that were over there on the right a nice guy came down from uh, Rush Springs south of here and picked those up and uh, thanks to him for buying those we did a five frame exchange so you can see the frame sitting over there next to hive 27 that tall one on that little short hive there so uh, it was kind of late in the evening I didn't get everything picked up so one thing I need to do is get all that cleaned up and uh, the, uh, the nuke boxes are laying back there in the back. So I need to get those picked up and put away in the barn. And uh, so uh, we've still got four of our main hives that are queenless as of uh, June 5th. Today is the 16th. So uh, last time I was in, uh, three of them was the 5th and I checked another one on the 8th and they're still queenless. Uh, they had some supersedure cells in there still, some of them and some didn't. So uh, it's time to quit messing around with queenless hives this time of year. By the time we get a mated queen in there, if we do, you're gonna be into uh, end of July and August. So uh, having a new queen in August in Oklahoma is it's not a good thing. You're gonna have to feed that colony and really boost it up to get it ready for winter. Uh, by the time they'd have any brood uh, you'd probably be looking at September time frame another 21 days. So uh, yeah, it's just time to cut your losses and start combining hives and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to check hives 4, 13, 14, 24. Uh, 4 is the one that had the little uh, mating flight look like returning one day. 13 is the one I did the uh, notch method, the on the spot queen rearing. I did it twice. And also I put uh, a donor cell in there and it seemed to have opened, but still 13 is queenless. So in that video, I said, just because uh, they've drawn out queen cells, that's just the beginning. Yeah, so they didn't get it done. Uh, right next to it, 14 uh, on the eighth, uh, there was a super procedure cell I put in from this uh, nuke number 34 over here to try and get them a queen. And, 24 over here, that short one uh, right there. So let's get in there and uh, I'm gonna try and do this in one video. So I'm gonna go through them as fast as I can and not talk a lot about what I see on every frame. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for eggs, uh, larva, or if I see a queen. If I see eggs or larva and it looks queen right, I'm gonna stop right there and move on to the next one because I got four to do and uh, number four is a double-decker uh, hive, so it'll take a little bit to get through that. So let's get started on that. Uh, one thing, so after we figure out which ones, if they're all queenless or not, uh, over here in these nukes, uh, I've got one queen. So I did a cutout this weekend at a friend's house, and uh, the, the uh, third nuke from the left there, there's a queen in there. Uh, I vacuumed her up. I never did find her and I got her in a vacuum and I'm lucky to have got her because somewhere through the cutout process, I bumped the uh, pressure regulator on the vacuum and it got turned all the way up. And those bees were going in there and they were just smacking hard when they entered into that vacuum. And about a third of them were dead. So very lucky and fortunate to have a queen there. So uh, there's one queen I can use to, to help these hives. And one other nuke still had a hope. You know, there was a super procedure cell in it. So one queen may be two there out of those four to help these four queenless hives. So let's get in here. That's the first part we need to do is figure out which big uh, established hives need a queen. So let's get started. Okay, here's hive number four. It looks to have a decent population, but it really doesn't. Uh, most of the bees are gone out of this hive. And uh, they filled most of the honey super up there before uh, all the queenless stuff started going on with it, with the swarm cells and all of that. So uh, let's get it broken down real quick and see what we find. Okay, that super felt like it was about two thirds full. You see it's not packed with bees at all. Bees in here are all old. 
There's not been a lane queen in here in some time, and if there is now, they're all going to be larvae. So let's see what we find. Nothing but nectar there. Full of nectar. All nectar. I see some capped brood here. And there's a chewed off supersedure cell. These uh, got little heads popping out right here. See a little head popping out. A couple of them there. Merging baby bees. So it's been 21 days from egg to that emergence. So those eggs were laid 21 days ago, which is not our queen. Over here in the shade, no eggs. So this brood here, these capped uh, cells, it's uh, suppressing these workers from laying worker so far. Once we run out of brood after a few days, you'll get laying worker problems. Gosh, that looks just like there should be a full eggs right here, you know? And there's nothing. Full of nectar. Usually your queens will be laying in the top. We'll go ahead and check the bottom real quick. Pretty much an empty frame right there. So here's where multiple queens emerged. See how the little tops popped off and opened up nice and uniform so it looked to me like there's five queens came out of here and here's one that was chewed off on the side and there's one there also it's cut out on the side like these were killed one of these has probably killed one of those I've given this hive uh, frames of eggs too and did the notch method. They'd pull down queens, but none of them ever took. They would emerge, and that'd be the end of it. Shiny nectar. That's packed with drones. Or a bunch. Whole frame is bee bread. Same thing. So four is queenless. So this hive number four is queenless. No sign of a queen. I'm not going to video putting all this back together to save time. So I'll we'll take up on the next hive, which I think is 13. We'll see you there. Okay, so here's 13. And I see very little activity there. There's a little bit. There may not even be any bees in here. But, uh, let's check and see what we find. Yeah, so this, this hive, 13, is not lucky 13. Unless we find a queen this time, and I doubt it. There's a few bees in there. Look up here real quick. I don't see anything looks like a queen. I don't even have 10 frames back in here. There's only nine. Cause there's not enough bees. They don't care. They're not gonna draw anything out wonky. This is uh, leftover honey from when this was a double deep. This is a prime high beetle bait right here. 
not many bees and honey on here. Wax moths too. This hive is just on the brink of collapse. Bee bread. They've got everything they need but a queen and bees. Bunch of old bees in here. Here's my uh, supersedure cell mark and a transplant cell mark where I put a queen cell I cut off and put in here. There you can see that's the transplant cell right there that I had emerged or they tore it down. This should just be all laid up right in here with eggs. And I am seeing larva and eggs. However, I think we got laying worker going on because these are turning into drones. So no need to get excited yet. If I see a queen, that'll be something. So yeah, this same thing here. We got laying going on in here. Okay, so here's where we got laying going on. See, you got your, your white larva and there's even some eggs around in here. And you might think, awesome, we got a queen. But look at these from the side. See how they stick up? They're drones and that means it's an unfertilized egg and these worker bees, some of them are starting to lay eggs because there hasn't been any brood in here or a queen for a long time. So just because you see larva, you're not good to go. If they're turning into drones, you got laying workers. Or you could have a queen that's not fertile and she's laying infertile eggs and they're turning into drones. Seeing that, I really don't need to go any farther, but I'll go ahead and go through here. So, oh, so we got the same thing going on here. We got a little bit of a pattern. Same thing on this side. Once that starts, it's very hard to stop it. Yeah. This one's a goner. We need to just uh, cut our losses on this. It's not hardly even worth combining with all those laying workers. But uh, we could put it on one of the hives over in the woods. One that's taken off doing really well. And... Uh, or bring that over here and put on top of this. That's probably that's what we need to do. Get another frame in here. All right, 0 for two. Okay, again, to save time, I'm gonna go right to the next hive, which is number 14 right here, and we'll pick up uh, going into that. Okay, so this hive number 14, eight days ago, I put a queen cell in here from uh, nuke number 32, I think I had in my notes. So if we're lucky, we uh, will have us a queen in here. So you feel lucky, punk? What movie is that from? <laughs> oh, congratulations to the, uh, I think three people commented and knew the uh, reference to uh, Last Chance for Romance. That was uh, Donna Summer was the the singer, and uh, Last Dance was the name of the song. And Raised on Radio was the album, and I had the 33 LP on that. And she was sitting on this jukebox, had long hair, really pretty lady at that time, and uh, she passed away a few years back. Let's uh, how about wore that record out? Back in the disco days. All right. Is everybody thinking queen? Think real hard. Just honey. Let me scoot that camera up. Lots of honey there. Bee bread. Here's my uh, tea transplant. So my transplanted cell was right in here at one time. So 
So it should have been right. So yeah, there's the indentation. So right there's where it was. Usually you'll see some remains of it. Here's a cell right here that was cut out from the side. So, you know, we've had queen activity in here. So I see larva on this. So, so these are capped larva and there's some uh, uncapped in here. And these don't necessarily look like drones, but this may be from a donor frame that I put in here. So I'm not gonna get all excited just yet. I think that's, that's the case. The, those are from another hive, another queen laid those. Oh, wait a minute. This is all laid up. We may have a winner. Chicken dinner. This one is not all laid up. This one's laid up around in the top here. Where is she? I'd sure like to see her and know this isn't another laying worker thing. Those didn't look, appear to be, uh, maybe too early, uh, turning into all drones. It's all full of larva. Ah, oh, that don't look good. These are turning into drones right in here. These are honey frames. You won't normally see a laying queen over here. If you smoked them a lot though, sometimes they'll run over. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna call it on this one. Uh, I'm just gonna put it back together. I'm not gonna go through the bottom. Uh, man, I don't know on this. I'd say it's a 50-50 chance. Uh, but uh, that last frame that had a lot of eggs on it, or larva, they appeared to be turning into drones, but the others weren't. Maybe it's just too, too soon to tell. But uh, I'll have to come back in this in a few days and check out those frames that are laid up and uh, see if they are turned into drones. And if they are, we know this is gone laying worker as well. So not good. So the next hive is 24. We'll see you over there. Okay, here's Hive 24. Backstory on it, it's just a split uh, from another uh, hive and uh, we put uh, swarm cells in here. So this, uh, I think these two positions, 23 and 24, were uh, dead outs in the last uh, fall going into winter. So I took them down. So this is just to replace them. So this one got going, but this one has not. And I went through that other hive again, uh, back through when I was putting it together and checked and I didn't see, and hive 14, no queen. So here's my frame with an N on it for my notch where I notched it for the second try. There, so you can see that. So it looks like the only bees in here are pretty much just uh, these uh, four or five frames right here. And these uh, with 20 on them. So I put those in here new when I did that split. Not enough bees to draw it out. And the nectar flow is slowing down. So that's a prime laying area right there. And uh, they're just putting some nectar in. This side's all bee bread. and nectar. Mostly bee bread and uh, nectar. They're back filling in that brood spot there where they should be brewed. Here's some uh, queen cells, super procedure cells or emergency cells. There's one, there's one. So they gave it a try. 
This was the original uh, split frame that had the cells. There's probably some swarm cells down on the bottom of that too. And this one here is the one I <clears throat> put in later that had eggs and I did the on-the-spot queen rearing method and notched it. And uh, all I see is drones sticking out there. And uh, one supersedure cell right there. Or emergency cell. I keep saying supersedure. There's not a queen in here. Well, there's a larva right there. But uh, that can't make a queen if it's not a fertilized egg. Right there. Just nectar. Nothing. No needn't even looking over here. Man, totally skunked. That's uh, worse than a bad day of fishing there. So, uh, I definitely want to save that hive number four uh, because it's a pretty good established hive. It's got some old comb in it I probably need to rotate out. It doesn't even have uh, year markers on it, so that means it's uh, 2016 or older, uh, and it looks older. There's some frames in there that I made uh, homemade uh, out of two by fours. <laughs> made a lot of sawdust too. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so we got four hives that are going to, they're going to fail. And when I was talking a while ago about this is a prime, uh, prime a location for hive beetles to take over and wipe it out. So I hear a lot of people say and post, uh, hey, hive beetles took out my hive or wax moss killed my hive. No, that's not what happened. Your hive looked like that and declined so much uh, before you realized it and the hive beetles moved in and took it over. Uh, so that's what happens. Hive beetles don't kill a hive that is healthy. So it just doesn't happen. Uh, just thought I'd share that. So, uh, so the next thing we need to go over to these nukes and I'll make that a, sec a separate video. I'll shoot that here in a minute and post that a few days later. But uh, go in these nukes. I know I've got one queen, maybe two. And uh, I'll probably put that one queen in hive number four and uh, figure out how to do that. And these others, I'll just combine. Uh, I've got two hives over in the woods, uh, number uh, 29 and 30, that are single deeps. So I could just put like hive 29 uh, in the evening, just bring it over here, set it on top of this, and newspaper combine it right here. And all those bees from hive 29 would acclimate to this location by doing that and uh, or i could move this one over there just as easy but uh i really don't like those hives over there in the trees they're hard to get around to and uh, i just have that stand left sitting over there and uh, i just use it every now and then but uh that's the end of the video oh for four man that sucked <laughs> yeah hope you enjoyed the suckiness of this and uh we'll catch you on the next video i would sub subscribe before you leave if you would we'll catch you on the next one take care <laughs>